Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial for the Magnite 787-9 aircraft on the channel. We will be looking at uh, the complete uh, sim roof uplink for the aircraft, so that is the routing and the weight and balance and the config data. And so as you can see here, we are in the Magnite uh, livery for the aircraft, so that, that does look really nice. Um, and I've got it powered up and everything to the stage where we would be doing this. If we were on ATC, that would be even uh, better. But so I'll, I shall head into the aircraft, so as you can see I've got stuff ready, I'm just going to set auto break to RTO while we're at it. So, here we are, so you, the, the aircraft will switch on like this, I've got ground power connected, so that means that I have already switched on the EFB, but I've switched it off, so this is, this is what the aircraft will, uh, once you power it up, my uh, Colin and Jack tutorial uh, is on the top right now, which I'd highly recommend looking at, obviously. <laughs> so I hope it will be very helpful for you uh, guys. So, let me come down here to the EFB, and then I'm going to go to Aircraft Config Data, Aircraft Config, and then, first of all, you've just got to head over to Simbrief, and because this is a Simbrief Outlink uh, tutorial, and we're going to go to dispatch uh, and create a flight plan basically. So here we are sitting on, uh, I'm sitting in Dubai actually. So I'm just going to get Volanta up here for me. So I'm just going to put in OMDB. And where should we go to? Let's go to Heathrow. Now I'm just going to scroll down and click on the aircraft profile, 787-9er. Make sure you don't put it as a data 8. <laughs> and yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. And here you can see our big routing. It's a long, it's a long way. And click save flight, generate OFB. Make sure you do this, otherwise uh, the steps after this will not work. We've done all this, and now, and now we come down here and we click. Or well, first of all, to set this up, you go to com, and you go to manager, and then you go to a cars. I'm just gonna blur this out in the video because you don't. Uh, you have your own um, Hoppy login code for that. I will do it a cars tutorial at a later date, and then you just put in your Simbri unit username. This is my one. You can just pretty click uh, paste to put it in there, and and then you come down here to the EFB and then you click uplink loadout. As you can see here, it has done it uh, for us. As you can, uh, we can check everything's good. So scroll down here, yeah, the packs and the fueling. Uh, yeah, forty one point two. That is for forty one point two. And make sure the the main points with this is make sure that the zero fuel weight is the same. So that's uh one six four point seven, one six four point seven. Perfect. And then you just click load aircraft. So that's that's the weight and balance done. Make sure make sure you put this in here. Otherwise it will not. And then click save. Otherwise none of those processes will work. And that and next um we just for the routing. Very short tutorial this one. Come down here to the FMS or the CDU, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to go to routing, and then we're just going to put in the departure, which is, let me just get up a flight plan. So here's our departure. So you just put it in here, and then you just put the arrival, which is Echo, Golf, Lima, Lima, because we're going into, and now, uh, yeah, because I don't I don't have Navigraph, so that that's all normal. And now it's completely done our flight plan and make sure you do a uh, departure arrival first because it hasn't done any of the SIDS and STARS. As you can see here, so we're just going to go uh, 30 left and the Dav Davmoff um, 3F departure. Yeah, it's not here, so we'll just do this one. And you click execute and make sure there's no discons. So now we come over here to the arrival page uh, and then we put in the STAR first. So we want the Logan uh, 1H departure. So now we go through it all. So, um, because it's not uh, in here, we're just going to use this uh, one, but make sure you follow your flight plan. And then uh, flying into runway 09 at left. 
Now we're just going to click execute. Make sure you click execute for it to all work. Now there's probably a disk on here somewhere. I'd expect so because there's usually yeah here we go. There's usually a disk on uh, in this aircraft, so make sure you do that before flight. If you don't, as you can see, here, we can just and if there's any disk on in this aircraft and you're flying, make sure you sort them out because once it's activated the the leg, then it um, yeah. The aircraft will not behave very well as you can see here and we've got everything ready um, and you can check everything is going well you can step through the flight plan here on the ND very nice so that's that's the tutorial we have done the, the routing here and and the performance data here now you would click initialize flight do the performance Set, put that all in there and then it would translate it into the rest of the aircraft and so I found I yeah yeah the other day I discovered <laughs> that you could do the routing so that's really cool um, I'm gonna use that a lot on stream and stuff so make sure you check out my streams on the channel and as you can see here it also it also translated into other into other stuff so for example, aircraft config data, that's all been uplinked. That's we didn't put in the airline code, so that's why it's from the previous one. But it all uplinked the, the registration stuff and you know, all that stuff from Sim Simbrief. Um and so I hope that tutorial was helpful. Yeah, I hope this is helpful and make sure you like the video on the way out if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Um for more tutorials like this and I hope it was helpful and see you um, next time on the channel.